Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my spoiler-free review of Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. So I will start out saying that this is a spoiler-free review, so you don't have to be worried on being spoiled by anything. I'm going to keep everything pretty vague, but this will just kind of be my general impression and how I felt about it. So I was really excited when I heard that Lee Bardugo would be writing kind of a novelization for Wonder Woman. And so I will say, like, going into this, I expected, like, after seeing the movie, I thought, like, the characters and kind of the time frame would, like, match up, but it doesn't. So this book takes place when Diana is 17, but it is present day in America. So just be aware of that, because I was, like, really, really confused for a second. But basically, so Diana is really struggling with kind of her role on the island. A lot of the people there kind of view her as just kind of like the queen's daughter they don't see any value in her they don't think of her as a strong warrior so diana has been very kind of struggling with this and she's very determined to prove herself to her fellow amazons and her mother so one day when diana is competing in a race she sees kind of this explosion off to the shore of the island so she goes out and investigates and ends up saving this young girl who is a teenager kind of around diana's age so while this is happening none of the amazons know like all this is going on so diana kind of hides this girl in a cave and she ends up learning that this girl alia i think is how you pronounce her name is actually a warbringer so that means she is a descendant of helen of troy and because of her she is kind of like and just kind of her presence alone is a catalyst for conflict and war so uh diana kind of learns that people are actually out to get her trying to kill her to try to end the warbringer like line so Diana investigates and learns that in order to kind of save Alia and just kind of the world, she has to go find the spring that's related to Helen of Troy. So she ends up leaving the island with Alia and they go on a great adventure. It goes, they go to New York and then Greece and I really like this book overall. So it has a, what I really liked about this book and that makes it really unique from other books that I've read is that it has a very unique and diverse cast. In particular, it has really good racial representation and also has the LGBTQ kind of representation in there as well. So it was really kind of like a breath of fresh air and very neat to kind of read a book that did so. And it did it seamlessly where it didn't kind of make it stand out. It was just like, whatever, like, you know, and I thought it was really good about that. And also just kind of the friendship in here and just female like friendships and just kind of standing up for one another. It was really nice to kind of read that in here as well. And especially experiencing Diana in New York and being catcalled and how she handled that was just like, the feminist in me was just like, woohoo! So I really like that. Again, there, um, this book, I did, being Wonder Woman, I did expect it to be a bit more, um, kind of a bit more adventure to it. There are some scenes in here that are very action-packed, but it is a very slow burner, so you only get about a quarter of the way through before it actually picks up and then it lulls for a bit and then it picks up again. But I really enjoyed this all in all. Like, there are some characters in there that I wasn't the biggest fan of. I, Alia in particular, there's something about her. I don't know, she just rubbed me the wrong way, but I really love Diana and here and her, her and Diana getting to experience the world, especially like in this book, she's younger than kind of the movie that came out where she's kind of in her 20s. So it was neat to kind of see her younger and just kind of struggling with her identity. So just, I really enjoyed this. I gave it a four out of five stars and it was open ending just the way it ended. So hopefully they will continue on kind of with Diana's like series in here because I think it does have a lot of potential especially with like the like popularity of this series and just kind of everything that's going on within the political world I think these books are very important just showing young girls that like women can be powerful and you you know men can't talk to you like that in a certain way and just standing up for yourself and just supporting having supporting friendships with females and just caring and supporting each other so I think this book was really important and it was just a really fun read so I highly recommend this book. I think this book would also make a really good Christmas present for anyone who really liked Wonder Woman and all that. So yeah, like I said, overall, I really enjoyed it. I love how it also kind of incorporated kind of ancient Greek mythology. And so I like double majored, um, one of them was anthropology. So I took archeology, span Greek and Greek mythology. So I love how that was kind of also integrated in here as well. Like it was just a lot of fun all around and I cannot recommend this book enough. 
So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've read this book or if you saw the Wonder Woman movie, what you thought about it. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.